Well, hello, hello, everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You call me Shay for short, and today we're gonna be doing another Bill Burr video. Uh, links for the original uh, uploader will be down below. Go support Bill Burr. Uh, I'll be a residential black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. Um, we'll do a light goal of uh, yeah, y'all been smashing it. Um, I'll say 300. 300 like like the spartan people there you go this is sparta uh so uh i already said i was black that is a known fact so let's go ahead and jump into it <laughs> thank you Lexi. you're welcome he's talking about body issues they're always talking about body issues that's the dumbest one ever they talk about Hollywood going like, Hollywood, they, they create these impossible body images, blah, blah, blah. You know, that whole thing, the plus size actress, right? The fatties. <laughs> yeah. That's like a big thing. They're, they're sick of being treated like fat people. I don't know what it is they're doing. They're going on the cover of magazines now, just like showing how fat they are, wearing a little bit amount of clothes. And everybody's like hyping them up. Like, oh my God, that's so brave. That's so courageous. <laughs> I'm not saying it doesn't take balls, but that's a bit of an overreach with the word brave. Yeah, kind of. Right? Yeah. Like, what am I supposed to do if I ever see a fireman running out of a building carrying a baby and an old lady? Am I going to sit there like, oh, my God, you're like a fat actress that takes her shirt off to do a magazine shoot to promote the movie she's in. <laughs> Okay, okay. Let me just let me just say let me just say this. Um, I mean, if y'all couldn't tell, I am wearing a, I'm wearing I'm wearing a corset. I'm wearing a corset because uh I wanna I wanna I wanna do a cosplay at uh DreamCon that involves me that involves my abs being on deck. I don't I don't think that I don't think when I go out and I take all the pictures and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna be courageous or or bold or anything else i just think i'm embodying a character i i i don't understand half of our culture anymore where every where everybody has to have a label of bravery or this or that because i feel like it does it does take away from the people who actually do brave stuff like i wouldn't I mean, like, me going to do cosplay and then having people take pictures of me shouldn't be the same level as, you know, my dad who, my dad who fought in, you know, Iraq. It shouldn't be the same level, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my god, Shay, you're so brave, and oh my god, sorry, sorry, you're, you're so brave. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be the same words. It'd be like, oh, that's a cool outfit, you know what I'm saying? I know you're not supposed to make fun of fat people. I understand, all right? I don't know why, though. <laughs> why? Okay. They're not a race. They're not a religion. It's totally curable. Eat an apple and go for a walk. You Facts. <laughs> why are you yelling at everybody else? The fuck are you giving me shit for? <laughs> all right? You put the cookies in there. I didn't. <laughs> How is this my problem? Hey. Fa Jesus Christ, you ate your way in, you can walk your way out, <laughs> all right? And just slowly start shedding the pounds. Shove some fucking lettuce in there <laughs> instead of a bunch of ho-hos. And it's, it's going to come down, and then you're on my side of the fence, right? Join me. Come on, say it with me. Shame. Shame. <laughs> Shame. Shame. <laughs> right? <laughs> I know, you're not supposed to shame, you're not supposed to fat shame, you're not supposed to slut shame. Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. I can't, okay, one more story. I can't even say anything, cause like, um, one of my people at work, uh, he said to me, he said to me, he looked at me, he's like, Shay, you, you think I'm getting big? I'm like, no, I think you look perfectly fine. He's like, no, I need you to fat shame me so I can go for a run today. I was like, you're fat. He's like, I need you to put more into it. I was like, you're fat and lazy. He's like, you could do better than that. And then I went off on a tangent. He's like, you did a little bit too well. A little bit too well. 
I was like, I'm sorry. He's like, dog, um, so you feel that way about me? I was like, no, of course not. But you told me to go in, so I went in. He's like, fair. Fair is fair. Oh, you're not supposed to shame. You're not supposed to fat shame. You're not supposed to slut shame. They're like shaming, shaming. Like people aren't supposed to walk around with any shame. It's like a legitimate human emotion, but you're not supposed to feel it at all. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to just walk around like a dictator. Just no, not, you're not, not going to feel any shame. You never felt shame. Yeah. You never had a, such a bad fucking night the next morning. You, you, you woke up, you couldn't even look yourself in the mirror. Fact. You went to go brush your teeth. You looked up, you're like, oh, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, even for you, that was bad. Lights out, <laughs> curtains drawn until at least two in the afternoon before I can even look at you, you fucking piece of shit. Yes. You're supposed to have no shame. That's the new world. You're just going to walk around sucking dick, you know, eating cookies. I said, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said and just show up and nobody's supposed to say anything. <laughs> no one's supposed to have an opinion. Like, wow, that's, that's going to go off the rails pretty soon. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably mean to do this stuff, but like you can only have so much sympathy. There's so much, so much stuff you can care about. Facts. You know what happened to me that changed my life? I did a gig in India, right? Unbelievably great people, but some of the stuff that I saw there, I'll never forget. I literally, I did a gig in India. I saw a toddler take a shit between two parked cars walked away, no pants or parents, and then disappeared into the crowd like Hannibal Lecter at the end of <laughs> Super <Sports laughs> Oh my God! It's one of the most heartbreaking things I've ever seen in my life. And then I come back to my country and it's like, oh, the studio said I lose 15 pounds to star in a movie. Well then start running, you fat fuck. <laughs> That's your big complaint in life? But, uh, yes. That's Perspective. You know, it, you, know you know what it is about these fatties? You know what it really is? They have no respect for the amount of sacrifice and dedication it takes to truly get in like magazine level shape. Facts. Which is the, you ever try to get abs? You ever try to get all the abs and get that shit down here? You ever try to do it? It's fucking impossible. <laughs> Past the age of 19, you can't do it without tons of help. Oh, if he only knew. Oh my God. Uh, I'm, I've been working, I've been working on my ass for about, what, uh, the past three weeks? Three weeks. And in order for me to actually see them, I gotta, I gotta lose, what, another, like, four, four inches off of my, off of my waist. I've been drinking water. I've been on my Peloton. Just, just doing nothing but cardio. Nothing but cardio. Watching what I eat. Everything. If you, I'm not going extreme like bodybuilders, okay? Because I'm not sitting in no, I'm not sitting in no sauna to to cut weight or anything. But it's a lot. It's a lot of work, and that's what it's put it like this. It's a lot of work and everything else, especially since I switched from being a a, a vegetarian back to a meat eater. It's so much more work. Because when I was a vegetarian, I could eat whatever I wanted. And I wouldn't gain no weight. Me, man, me, right when I switched over to being a meat eater, oh my God, I, I was missing out on so much good food, but I, I packed on some weight and then you got to auto correct. I mean, everybody has to do it. You got to buy all these exercise tapes. You got to read about nutrition. You yep. got to get a personal trainer having you fucking running along. Mm -hmm. You need like your own chef. And he's like, okay, don't eat it yet. Don't eat it yet. All right, now eat it. Start yeah. consuming it. All right, stop. <laughs> Slow down. Stop. Stop. Spit it out. Spit it out. <laughs> I told you to stop. Get on the electrical. Now you like that Brussels sprout. Did you like that Brussels sprout because now you're paying for it. It's a fucking miserable experience. Just walking around. Your whole body's eating yourself. You know, oh. you want some cake? No. Oh. No, I'll just take a salad. Yup. No oh, salmon <laughs> vinaigrette on the side. No croutons. Oh, my God. When is the photo shoot? I want to kill myself. It's horrible. Facts. try to get fat? No. No. <laughs> you don't have to. It's effortless. You can fucking lay on your back watching your favorite show just shuffling shit down your throat. What are you doing? I'm getting fat. I'm getting fat. 
You got a trainer? Don't need one. Yeah. <laughs> I just eat everything that makes my sugar salt go like, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Comes right in. Nice roll of fucking flab. No, it's ridiculous. Like, I know nobody wants to be fat, so I'm not shitting on it. Oh, my God. Oh. Um, right? So what would I say about that? It's it's one of those it's one of those things that I I, I feel like I feel like I I I don't want anybody to be I don't want anybody to be fat because of the fact that the matter is the world is not built for for fat people and everything else. So I would rather everybody be healthy. But the thing is, we're Americans, okay? Majority of people that watch me are American. United States of America. Or whatever, wherever you're from. Um, you can do whatever you want to, darling. That is on you. I don't force my I don't force my relief, beliefs or anything on nobody. I just tell you my opinion. And if you want to eat that, you can eat that. I, I'm not gonna tell you you can't. All right. Only people that I am supposed to influence is the people like family members and people around me, significant other. That's it. And then my kids. I don't got none yet, but I mean, like future, future shades in the world. But that's it. You know what I'm saying? You can do whatever you want to, darling. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna judge you. But again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. Make sure you put your favorite comedians down below with their bits and everything else. If you got their YouTube links, put that down below as well. Same is for NFL and MMA because we're gonna be bringing both of those to the channel. I hope y'all, I hope y'all been enjoying this content because I've been enjoying bringing it to y'all. It's like a little new lease on life, and I'm enjoying every second of it. So again. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And like my grandmother always says, so long. And and if you're an NFL fan and you root for the Falcons or the Jets, be prepared because I'm about to crap all over your team. Bye. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. If you gon' spin out them close to me, uh. Bring out the can, would you post me, uh? What would you do to get close to me, uh? I blow the flowers, that's perfect. I hit it once in his wedding. I hit that ass in the back of the Chevy. Bust up a back, she let me. Then blow the gas, like we at the Getty. She like, you gotta respect me.